lobby of Ramsey Solutions on the Dead Free Stage. Andrew and Courtney are with us. Hey, guys, how are you? Hey, I'm doing good. good. How are you? Welcome. Where do you guys live? We're from Madisonville, Kentucky. Ah, okay. Up in the Hopkinsville area. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Nashville. And here to do a debt free scream, how much have you paid off? $62,447.16. Love it. <laughs> Not that we're counting <laughs> to the penny. How long did it take you? 22 and a half months. Good for you. And your range of income during that time? From about 85, uh, down a little bit, and then back up to about 95. Cool. What do y'all do for a living? Uh, I'm in manufacturing. I work for uh, GE. Mm -hmm. I started out working for the orthodontist in our town, mm -hmm. and then I switched to the Board of Education. Oh, ah, okay. And uh, was that a good raise? It was not. Okay. Um, it took a lot of prayer and talk. Um, we did a pros and cons list, mm -hmm. and um, it was a pay decrease, but we adjusted our... our um, that was when it went down a little bit. Yes. And then it came back up. Yes. Okay, good. Yes, sir. Very good. Good for you guys. What kind of debt was the 62000 uh, It's mostly uh, it's a few credit cards, a couple uh, personal loans, a couple 401k loans. Okay. All right. What were the 401k loans for? What'd you buy? Uh, it, a lot of our debt stemmed from uh, a gambling addiction I had. Um, so that's, uh, you know, that's what a lot of it was. Wow. And, uh, wow. Yeah. So what were you? What kind of? What were you gambling? What kind of game? Uh, just uh, any kind of sports online. Sports book. Yeah. Okay. O online stuff. Yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. So what the healing journey look like on the way out of that? Yeah. How'd you break that? Uh. Well, we had we had hit a pretty rough patch in our marriage. I we bet. had some um, disagreements, some arguments, and when we got married, we joined our our finances together and mm -hmm. when I realized the first couple of consolidated loans that hit our bank account I was not comfortable so I withdrew <laughs> That's my an understatement <laughs> you were the like queen of understatement we had a rough path. I was not, I was not comfortable, comfortable. I, I almost killed him while I he was asleep through a little bit <laughs> we had a disagreement there were some nights I looked at him and was just like Ooh. <laughs> so so I took the high road and I took um my money out of the bank account and opened my own bank account, opened up the kids' bank account, and um, I still continue to see no change. I was still uncomfortable mm -hmm. with where things were going, and so I reached out to my sister-in-law, mm -hmm. and we His talked, sister? We, yes, his, well, his brother's wife. Oh, okay. All and right. um, and we finally opened up to his parents. His parents had no idea what was going on. Mm -hmm. We both kept it very hidden because we were a little ashamed. Sure. And so we basically had a little intervention for him. Oh. And I just let out everything that I was worried about. And mm -hmm. they were kind of our our go-betweens. Mm -hmm. And so they they really, from the, the second that they knew everything, they were our support system and they were our gods. And How long ago was that? March 21st, 2020. <laughs> So you're, is your two, that's your that's your dry date? Two yep. years sober? Yes. Way to go, bro. Hey, way to congratulations, go. man. Proud of you. Thank you. That's I'm incredible. proud of him too. Yeah. It's incredible. I wish you could see the way she's looking at you. <laughs> yeah. It's so oogie. It's making me uncomfortable. <laughs> she likes you a lot. It's incredible. So the, um, yeah, that you. So your family and your wife come at you, and you just said, okay, they're right. Yep. I mean, time to change. Yeah. yeah. Um, Prior to that, you've been kind of uh, ducking and. Shucking and jiving and hiding and am Correct. I right? That's a, that's a normal pattern anyway. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So for America, in case you didn't know, the fastest growing addiction in America today is online porn. The second fastest growing addiction in America today is online gambling. Mm -hmm. It's tough. And it's, those two things are destroying more families than all drug addiction and alcohol addiction put together. Mm -hmm. And it, the people don't understand the numbers. Yeah. Oh, th this is one of the evils of the internet. The internet's not all evil in and of itself, but uh, gambling has exploded. And I can't tell you the number of times one of our coaches is dealing with someone who's trying to get out of debt on the one hand, but on the other hand, they're really struggling, particularly sportsbook. Sportsbook is a big one. And so what you did, what you had there was not unusual. I'm so proud of you, man. That took a lot of strength. So, Andrew, uh, often people roll out of an addiction, and I don't want to say they trade addictions, but they lean into healthier behaviors. And it sounds like your healthier behavior was, hey, let's, let's, let's get on a path to help us get control back, right? And so tell us about that. 
Yeah, um, that night, I mean, like she said, we, you know, we all met and um, had a long talk. And that night, I, you know, I, I worked third shift at the time, and I was, you know, scrolling through the internet and came across Dave Ramsey. And um, I'd heard the name before, uh, but I'd never really listened to or anything. And I started listening that night and got hooked. And, like, everything you were saying was, you know, slapping me Usually in the face. Usually when people say you got hooked, it's a good thing. I'm not sure when you say that I like you say that. <laughs> That was his healthy I'm his kidding. Healthy I'm kidding with you. <laughs> he did. He came home from work, and I was barely awake, and he said, hey, we're going to do this. This is what we're doing. And I was like, "Wow, who? What? Yeah. What? <laughs> I'm okay. asleep here. I was like, okay, we're okay. Sounds right. good. So you were game on then. Oh, yeah. And that gave you something to focus on while, right. you, were, uh, while you were moving those stuff. Now, did you go to, like, GA? No, I didn't. Okay. Did you see a coach, a counselor, or anything? Nope. I just just said I'm stopping. Yeah. Just well, it like made that. it a little easier. That was the start of the pandemic, and there were no sports going on. So well, that's <laughs> helpful. That's helpful. The supply dried up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Made it a little easier. Well, there you yeah. go. That's that's true. I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> so uh, then you guys just lean in, and together you start doing the details. Now, how much further did you get plugged into our stuff? Um, I uh, after a couple of weeks of listening to the podcast, just non-stop I, I bought a couple of the books mm -hmm. and um and uh, i guess it was a few months later we did a uh, uh fpu class with uh with our church oh good okay yeah it cool. took me a little while to get her on board with me what? Uh, i can't believe <laughs> what yeah the the addict comes with another scheme right yeah <laughs> oh i got a plan i got a plan right yeah it was read this book listen to this podcast watch this on youtube and i was like Oh gosh. Well, I, yeah. I, you know, what did I do? Yeah, I'm I got, not, I got her listening to Rachel. I was like, if you don't want to listen to Dave, you know, I think you'll like Rachel. She's, you know, your age and she's funny. I think you'll, you'll like her. Dave, Instead Dave. of old and grumpy, right? Yeah, Dave's not <laughs> funny. Yeah, we've got young, cute, and funny, or old and grumpy. But, yeah, <laughs> hey, but, so Andrew, yes, uh, you're not gambling anymore. No, totally clean. Yes. <laughs> when you're talking about it, your body folds up with shame and guilt. Mm -hmm. And today you walk off that stage and you're going to leave that crap right there, right? Yes. yes, sir. You're done with it? Yes, sir. You're announcing to everybody your sobriety and we're proud of you. Amen. But I don't want you carrying that stuff around. I can see it on you. Amen. Today you set it down when you walk off that stage. You're not, right? you, that, that's, that guy used to be. He's not anymore. Game? Yep. Thank you. Yes. That's fair. All right. Thank Way you. to go, guys. Thank you, guys. I'm so proud of y'all. We are honored to be a little part of your huge journey. You're both <laughs> very, very courageous people <laughs> and uh, you're, you're, you're impressive. You're heroes. I mean, the stuff you, when you stare that demon down and you beat it, that's a big one. And I, honey, I don't know where they make you. I don't know. <laughs> You've, you're one of one of a million. You're a saint. You're I mean, incredible. I had, I except had for the understatement. Except for the understatement part. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, she can carry a house around with understatement. Well, I guess, I guess I'll just, I'll just won't eat any dinner tonight. I guess I'll just go yeah. inside and eat I'll dirt. Just, yeah. I'll just wear the drapes. Why y'all eat <laughs> Thank pizza? Thank you, Scarlett O'Hara. That's right. That's right. No, you're. Yeah. I mean, I had, I had my weaknesses too, and mine stemmed a lot from wanting my kids to have what I didn't have growing up. So mm. I. I'm not guilt-free from yeah. getting a credit card and yeah. saying, hey, you want to wear that name brand outfit? Okay. Yeah. You want to go to this place? Okay, let's do it. So we really had to sit down, especially with our oldest, and explain, you yeah. know, All it's right. not I'm, that we I'm, won't ever I'm do I'm going to cut you off because we're going to run up against the clock here. I want to make sure we get your screen yes, in. Sorry. <laughs> so we got all the books and everything for you yes. and stuff for you to give away and stuff for you to enjoy. Thank you so much for being here. Thank Andrew you. Andrew and Courtney, Hopkinsville, <laughs> Kentucky, Madisonville, Kentucky, $62,000 paid off in 22 months, making 85 to 95. Count it down. Let's hear a debt-free scream. Three, Three two, one. one. We're, we're debt-free!